your beloved mother. You who know so well the ways of holiness and love, teach us to raise our minds and hearts to open to the Trinity and to fix thereon a respectful and loving attention. Since you journey with us on the path of eternal life, do not be a stranger to the frail workers. Your treasure is willing to shelter. Turn your merciful gaze towards us. Draw us into your brilliance. Shower us with your kindness. Lead us into life and into love. Lead us ever further and higher into the splendors of heaven. Let nothing ever trouble our peace, nor make us leave the thought of God. But let each minute take us further into the depths of the God's mystery until the day when our souls, fully blossomed by the light of divine union, will see all things in eternal love and unity. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship the King of Kings. On this day, his virgin mother was taken up to heaven. Come, let us worship the King of Kings. On this day, his virgin mother was taken up to heaven. Let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hand. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not harden your hearts as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massah, they challenged me and provoked me. Although they had seen all of my works, forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Come, let us worship the King of kings. On this day, his virgin mother was taken up to heaven.
My soul magnifies the Lord. The Almighty has done great things for me. Alleluia. O God, you are my God, for you I long, for you my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you, like a dry weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary, to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night. For you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Those who seek to destroy my life shall go down to the depths of the earth. They shall be put into the power of the sword and laughed as the prey of the jackals. But the king shall rejoice in God, all that swear by him shall be blessed, for the mouth of liars shall be silenced. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. My soul magnifies the Lord. The Almighty has done great things for me. Alleluia. The virgin shines with glory. She has given birth to the King of Heaven. Alleluia. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain rises in beauty the joy of all the earth. Mount Zion, true pole of the earth, the great king city, God in the midst of its citadels has shown himself its stronghold. For the kings assemble together, together they advance, they saw at once they were astounded. Dismayed they fled in fear. A trembling seized them there, like the pangs of birth. By the east wind you have destroyed the ships of Tarshish. As we have heard, so we have seen. In the city of our God, in the city of the Lord of hosts, which God upholds forever. O God, we ponder your love within your temple. Your praise, O God, like your name, reaches the ends of the earth. With justice your right hand is filled. Mount Zion rejoices. The people of Judah rejoice at the sight of your judgments. Walk through Zion, walk all round it. 
Count the number of its towers. Review all its ramparts. Examine its castles. That you may tell the next generation that such is our God. Our God forever and always. It is He who leads us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. The Virgin shines with glory. She has given birth to the King of Heaven. As a lily among brambles, so is my love among maidens. Hallelujah. Listen, my faithful children, open up your petals. Like roses planted near running water, send up the sweet odor of incense. Break forth in blossoms like the lily. Send up the sweet odor of your hymn of praise. Bless the Lord for all he has done. Proclaim the greatness of his name. Loudly sing his praises. With music on a harp and all stringed instruments. Sing out with joy as you proclaim. The works of God are all of them good. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. As a lily among brambles, so is my love among maidens. Alleluia. The Lord raises the lowly, 
He humbles the wicked to the dust. O oh, sing to the Lord, giving thanks. Sing psalms to our God with the heart. He covers the heavens with clouds. He prepares the rain for the earth. Making mountains proud with grass and with plants to serve man's needs. He provides the beasts with their food and young ravens that call upon him. His delight is not in horses, nor his pleasure in warrior strength. The Lord delights in those who revere him, in those who wait for his love. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Hallelujah. Daughter of Jerusalem, all ages will call you blessed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God in his holy place. Praise him in his mighty heaven. Praise him for his powerful deeds. Praise His surpassing greatness. O oh, praise Him with sound of trumpet. Praise Him with lute and harp. Praise Him with timbrel and dance. Praise Him with strings and pipes. O oh, praise Him with resounding cymbals. Praise Him with clashing of cymbals. Let everything that lives and that breathes give praise to the Lord. Alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Daughter of Jerusalem, all ages will call you blessed. Alleluia. the prophet Isaiah. I rejoice heartily in the Lord, and my God is the joy of my soul, for he has clothed me with a robe of salvation and wrapped me in a mantle of justice, like a bride bedecked with her jewels.
mode one. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who assumed the Immaculate Virgin Mary, the mother of your Son, body and soul into heavenly glory, 
Grant, we pray, that always attentive to the things that are above, we may marry to be sharers of her glory. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And also with our brothers and sisters. O shining star of the church. Who reflect the Father's light, by revealing to us the mystery of the Word, the eternal fruit of His bosom, source of all life and of all truth. O beloved disciple of the Word made flesh, who at the Last Supper rested your head upon His heart, drawing the secrets of the Father's beloved Son and of the Savior of all. O beloved Son of Mary, who at cross received the treasure of the heart of Jesus crucified, thus becoming the witness of his wounded heart, we beseech you, despite our unworthiness, our weaknesses, our infallibilities, be our Father, that we may be true sons of the Father, living by his light, and by the ardor of the wounded heart of the Agapesos, under the life giving guidance of the Spirit currently, in Mary, Mother of Jesus, and our Mother.